Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Spencer Sam here bringing you another episode of Euro 2020 in pairs as we see how our four teams progress through the last group stage games as our feature game for today's game is probably one of the one-sided games of the final round of group games which is a game uh, more to have against Germany. We've also got highlights from the other games in the groups. We've also got Turkey's game against Italy, Wales' game against France, even though France are already through, and we've also got Belarus' game against Belgium. So hopefully we can look to maybe get all four teams through into the knockout round stages, as we have a very tough game for you for the highlighted game, as we show Malta and Germany's lineups. Malta going very defensive, and obviously Germany going for a very attacking side with their 3 4 3 formation. So hopefully, we can look to maybe try and avoid maybe a one sided game in this one. And hopefully, we can maybe look to pick up another another win, maybe. But Germany very early on into their attack. Hopefully this isn't, this isn't a sign of things to come, but there we go straight away. They put the ball in the back of the net very early on. It's Timo Werner, and there we go, just showing what he can do when he comes to Chelsea. And putting that ball in the back of the net against Morta. It's not what Morta are going to be wanting. They've got to hopefully look to get some points from this if they're going to be securing their play place in the next round. But we go over to Turkey, Italy. We see Italy on the attack. Can they get anything from this though? Ball's played in. No, it looks like it's being cleared. Uh, might have another chance here though. Yes, they do. And Italy take up the lead. Turkey need to get some points as well from their game as well. Then they're struggling to get the points and they might have a chance of being knocked out in the group stages. But with the Euros third place, the highest points do go through still so they might have a slender chance but we check on Belarus and Belgium Belarus trying to put a chance of their own might get a go here though it's just past the post Alexander Haleb there but we carry on with this game looks like oh Belarus getting a really good chance here though can they finish one on one with the keeper good save from Courtois and no somehow the rebound doesn't go in great save from Courtois again we check on France versus Wales now. France already through. They've gone through a little bit of rotated side. As they know they're going to be going through. But, ooh, that's hit the bar. That's really close. And once again, Belgium-Belarus. What's going to go on here? It looks like Belgium getting their first attack of, the, of this game. Oh, nice, very nice little Rabona cross. But it's hit the bar. And we check on Germany Malta. Once again, Germany on this hack, unsurprisingly. Have a chance here, though. It's hit the post. Luckily, falls into the path of the keeper, though. Once again, France. Let's see how what they're doing. Oh, that's not great clearance for Giroud to have a go. That's a good save from Hennessy. Let's see how we're doing for the Turkey-Italy game. Turkey's still looking for their goal. They need to get through, maybe. But they might have a go here though. Oh, that's just wired. Sirigu not getting beaten there. And a lot of chances in the Belgium-Belarus game. Oh, that's not cleared though. That's Hazard with the shot. And it's just past the post. And Belarus trying to make another attack just before halftime maybe. Falls to Haleb. He's finished it. Alexander Haleb, former Arsenal and Barcelona man. 38 years old in this game has put Belarus ahead and hopefully that is things to come for the second half but we go over to Turkey Italy now can Turkey find their goal can they find an attack from this one trying to work their way through a very strong Italian defense or oh, it might have a chance here though it's Chalonoglu and he's slotted in the bottom corner very nice goal that brings the score level once again. Chalonoglu getting his goal, first goal for him. Last episode he had a goal ruled out, but not this time. And we go once over to the Belarus game. Surprising lead for them so far. Can they maybe extend it here? Yes, they do. It's two. 
what is Belgium just not getting with it? And that is Drahoon with the finish. And it looks like they're bringing Lukaku on. He always seems to score against us, so let's see if he can in this game. Once we go to Germany, Malta. And once again, Germany put in a very dominating performance. Can they maybe look to get another goal here, though? Yes, they do. And that is not good. It's been a very one-sided game, unsurprisingly. And Marco Royce gets his goal. So not looking good for the weaker side out of our four teams. As they go 2-0 down to a very strong German side. But here we go, Wells with a rare chance. Daniel James just coming on. A good save from our keeper, Ariola there. And once again, Germany Malta. Germany trying to put another attack together. Trying to really punish Malta. Oh, that's a good chance. It's just past the post, though. Belgium, Belarus. Belarus trying to maybe put another chance together, maybe. Oh, that's not good defended. It's beaten company, I believe. That was very easily. And it's in the back of the net for 3-0 Belarus. Very... Very surprising result so far. Zakevic, the top scorer so far of the whole tournament, gets another goal and it's 3 0 to Belarus. Lovely score, that one. So, can Turkey maybe follow suit? Or are Italy going to get back, back into this? Trying to work their way into the box. Can they get through? They might have a chance. Good save and it's palmed its way clear. Over to France, Wells. France trying to look to maybe get a goal here. Yes, it's slide in the bottom corner. That's a lovely finish. And it is the substitute Usman Dembele with the finish. Very nice, nicely placed. And that's going to hopefully give France three wins from three. And we go once again over to Belgium, Belarus game. A lot of chances in this one so far. Might have another chance here though. Oh, it's just past the post. And let's see if maybe Morton get their way back into this. But it doesn't look like it. Germany might have another chance of it here. They have a go. It's hit the post and oh, it's just got so lucky. It's falling in the path for Marco Royce just to tap into an empty net. It's really unfortunate for Malta. It's it's not a great goal to be conceding, but there we go. Germany go 3-0 up now. Can they get their way back into it? We go back over to the Turkey Italy game. Turkey trying to work something. A really good ball though. It might have a chance here though. Cenk Tosun! He slid in the bottom corner. He's come off the bench. And that is the second goal. And Turkey go 2 1 up now. Really nice finish past Sirigu in goal. And that looks good things for Turkey. They might have a chance still to go through. Once again, Germany Malta. Malta might have a chance of their own. Very rare chance, maybe. It's played across the goal. It's in the back of the net very late on. Malta looked to get a late goal there. Just something just to make the scoreline a little bit easier. But there we go. 3-1 now. Malta get a little bit of a sweaty goal, but they'll take it. Belgium, Belarus once again. What's going to happen here? Can maybe Belgium get something as well from their game? They go for goal. And it's a, that's very similar to the Germany goal. It's hit off the post into the path of the attacker. And it's Yannick Carrasco to get a consolation goal in this game. A little bit easier this one. But there we go. France versus Wales. Can maybe France maybe get another chance here. He's fallen into the path of Griezmann. And it's into the back of the net. France go 2-0 up in the game very late on. And that looks to wrap things up for France with three wins out of three. And is there going to be any late chances for Wales to get back into this? Or are France are just going to hold on for a 2 0 win? That is it. France able to get the win. And we'll check on the other results for the last round of matches. So let's just have a look. Turkey managed to pick up a 2 1 win. 
France winning 2-0, Germany beating Malta 3-1 and Belarus picking up a surprise 3-1 victory. So let's have a look at the final standings for the group stages. Croatia and Austria going through in Group A. Group B was Italy, Switzerland and Turkey. And Group C was England and Spain. Group D we had France, Czech Republic and Wales. Group E was Germany, Denmark and Malta. And Group F was Belarus, Portugal and Belgium. So all our teams going through to the last 16. Uh, some in the third place position so we'll be coming out against the top of the table or top of the groups even so we move straight on to the last 16 fixtures and the highlighted name for the episode today is France's game against Belgium so a really nice fixture for you to see we've also got Belarus's game against Denmark England come up against Turkey and Croatia come up against Malta so hopefully we can look to bring all four teams through into the quarterfinal stages. So really nice fixture for France and Belgium. France's lineup we're going for a very attacking side for Giroud and Mbappe, Dembele and Griezmann just sent behind. Uh, Varane also back from injury, he was out for a couple of games with a slight knock. And Belgium obviously going for a very strong side themselves, 3-4-3 three, three for them, with Hazard, Mertens and Carrasco who scored against Belarus in their game. And so let's see how we fare off against Belgium. Belarus were able to do it, but can France get through them in the round of 16? So a very early chance for maybe France to get their way into the game. Falls onto the left hand side. This is Benjamin Mendy. He goes for goal and it's on the back of the net. Very surprising. He's probably got a nosebleed going that far up the pitch. And finds the way into the back of the net past Courtois and it's 1 0 straight away. So goes over to Malta, Croatia. Croatia trying to work their way through a not a very strong Malta side. Once again, very defensive from Malta, but can Croatia get something? No, it's just past the post. Malta trying to work their way out from the box, but it's fallen. It's deflected straight into Pavel Kramaric. The defence just splits open for him, and it's a free shot for Kramaric to get Croatia 1 0 up in their game. Not great bit defending. And there we go, Croatia go 1 0 up in their game as well. We check on England versus Turkey. Turkey having a bit of a mixed bag of results in their group. England topping theirs, so. And yes, there we go. It's not a shot I would thought would have been beating our keeper, but Harry Kane beats him and they go 1 0 up in the game. So Turkey got their work cut out for them. We check on Malta Croatia once again. Croatia looking to work another attack. That's a good ball over the top for Kramaric to go in on goal, but he actually plays out wide for Ivan Perisic. But what can he work? something into the box good save from the keeper though keeping us in it from the resulting corner what can they work from it oh another good save might have just tipped that onto the bar and is just about cleared belgium france now france trying to put another attack together this is benjamin mendy on the left hand side finds a nice cross for dembele and that's two really really well worked from mendy to get a way through there and finds the path of Usman Dembele to get the second goal for France to go 2-0 up in their game. So we go over to Belarus, Denmark. Not too many chances in this game, very even so far, but Belarus may be getting a chance here. It's fallen nicely for the deflection, but good save from their keeper. Over to England versus Turkey now. Just closing on the first half. Turkey may be getting a rare chance of their own. It's beating the keeper at the near post. It's Jack Butland in goal. But Turkey just bringing it back level. Just before the half-time break, it's Baraki Ilmaz getting one back for Turkey. So now into the second half, Belarus versus Denmark. Belarus trying to work their way for maybe a chance of their own. Oh, this is a good, nice little play. And it's beating the keeper. Belarus take the lead. So really good performance from Belarus so far. They've done very well to get a lead against Denmark. Very defensive side, Denmark. Over to Belgium, France. 
Oh, that's not good. Defending and Giroud's in here to make it 3-0 to France now. That was not good defending. I'm not sure who that was. It might have been Odevayo. It might have been Vertonghen. I'm not quite sure. But not cleared. And it's performing straight into the pub of Olivier Giroud to smack it past Courtois to make France 3-0 up now. So can Belgium get their way back into this? They've got to do better. But that's not good defending once again. Straight to Mbappe. Feeds in Giroud for maybe another chance. It's a good save this time from Courtois. And still France piling the pressure on Belgium. But can Giroud get a chance here though? Yes he does. He smacks that ball past Courtois. And there we go. That makes it fall straight away. Attack after attack for France. And there we go. 4-0 now for France. Once again in England versus Turkey. This is level still. England getting a chance maybe. Falls for a nice little 1-2 for Kane. Once again to smack it past our keeper. And England go 2-1 up now. Really nice little play. Little one-two between the two strikers. And there we go. Now we cross over to see how Belarus are doing against Denmark. Can Denmark get their way back into this? They might have a chance here though. It's beating the keeper in the near post. And Denmark bring it back. It's Kasper Dolberg with the finish. It's level pegging once again. And Denmark might have a chance back in that game. So once again over to Malta Croatia. Malta may be getting a rare chance in this game. It's pretty much been all Croatia, unsurprisingly, really. But a good chance. It's blazed over, though. Really unlucky. Rare chance for Malta there. England look to be putting another attack together. Can they get anything from it? Yes, I think... No, it's hit the post. Very unlucky. Once again, back to Belarus, Denmark. Belarus seem to have a lot of chances in this game, but Denmark with a chance. Good save from the keeper. Still, Denmark trying to get their way back into it. They might have a go here though. Oh, it's found the bottom corner. And there we go, Denmark take the lead in this game. So it's the score has now pretty much switched. Daniel Vass with the finish. 2-1 now to Denmark. They take the lead. Once again, switching over to England, Turkey. Turkey trying to get their way back into it. Oh, a really nice ball. But, oh, Butland smothers it. Really unlucky. Could have had a chance there to bring it back. And once again, Belarus, Denmark. Denmark maybe getting a little bit more attacking threat. And there we go. There's another goal. It's free for Denmark now. It's Kasper Dolberg with another finish. And there we go. 3-1 now. Belarus might have a lot to do to get back into that. But... Belgium trying to put a lot into the attack. Jan Vertonghen with a shot, but not going in. Belarus and Denmark. Belarus trying to get their way back in. Can they retake the lead? And that's the way to do it. The substitute coming on to get one back for Belarus. It's 3-2 now. It's Crozen with a really nice goal. And maybe, just maybe, they might have a chance in that game. And this one pretty much wrapped up still. 4-0 to France still. And Kylian Mbappe just past the post. He wanted to get on the score sheet, but not to be. And England putting, once again, another attack together maybe. Can Turkey look to stop them? It doesn't look promising. It's passed along the goal. It's Raheem Sterling to put 3-1 ahead for England now. And that game looks to be wrapped up as well. Unless Turkey can maybe get something back. And Belarus and Denmark once again. Very close game this one. Belarus looking to put something together. Oh, this is really nicely worked. Can he finish? Yes, he does. It's free all. Very late on. And that's the substitute once again. Getting a second goal now. This one could go to extra time. But one that's definitely not going to extra time is the France-Belgium game. Looked to maybe get a chance here. Not good defending once again from Belgium. And it's fallen straight into the path of Kylian Mbappe to wrap things up for France. Getting a fifth goal for them. And they look to be through to the next round. And once again, England versus Turkey. Very late on. And pushing up Turkey are. Here's a counter for England. 
The Turkey defenders have just given up and England make it four. That's a Harry Kane hat trick. They've given up and looks like Turkey are now out. And we also see Croatia going through and Malta being knocked out for that last one. So that's two of our four teams out. So we check on Belarus, Denmark. A lot of added time in this one. But really good ball played in. Maybe Belarus have a last chance to get something from it. The keeper comes out. He goes for the chip. And oh, it's hit the bar. It's so unlucky. And that goes to extra time now. So unlucky not to get that finish. Really close. Did not... Oh, it wasn't to be though, hitting the bar, but Denmark getting things kicked off for extra time. They might have a chance though, and Bruh. oh, it's hit the post, and it's another one of those deflected goals. It seems to be happening a lot in this episode, and Jorgensen takes Denmark into another lead there. And bless Denmark, maybe he can get another chance. They're one on one with the keeper once again. Can they finish? Good save from the keeper. He keeps Belarus in this for maybe a little bit longer. But uh, getting very close to the end of the game now. Is there any more chances? No, that's it. Belarus are also out in extra time. They done very well to get that far and push Denmark absolutely all the way. But we check on the last 16 results. England winning 4-1 against Turkey. France going 5 0 winners. Malta losing 1-0 and Belarus unfortunately losing 3-4 to Denmark. So we just have a little look for the quarterfinals. Spain will be up against France. Wales against Denmark. England against Germany and Croatia against Portugal. So that will be it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you next time. Goodbye.